What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. We are here to continue our journey through Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender live action series and we are about to journey to the Northern Water Tribe. Yes, we are going in that direction. I'm excited. After last episode, my hype is at an all-time high. Let's just jump right in. You ready? Absolutely. All right, guys, starting episode seven right now. Oh. Prince Zuko, the Imperial Guard. They're coming to take the prince into custody. What? Interesting. The Imperial Guard? They're already on their way. <laughs> Lieutenant Dang and I were burning the midnight oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're part of the frat bridge, Thanks to the message. Keep drinking. Yikes. I overheard them discussing yeah, the orders, the orders from the Fire Lord that. himself. He yes. sent his personal boy. Zhao's figured out you were the one that freed the Avatar. Prince Zuko. I mean, to leave. interesting. Stay off the main roads and travel only at night. I was going to say, because he didn't know until he visited him. him. I know, but first you must yes. get to safety. And he kind of played it coy, which is, inter which is interesting. Yeah. But at least we don't have the fake out death, which yes. I guess could get a little cheap. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant G. Was Stay it safe, G who sold honest. him out to begin with? I think it was Dang, right? Okay, it might have been. I'm just trying to remember. I was gonna say, I'm glad it's not G now. I think it was both. It might have been both. G had no idea. Oh, it was a trap. Okay. This also works because that way you can condense the attack from the pirates. Yeah, and I'm glad because this also makes Zhao look smart yeah. and tactical well, we tell devious. The Lord, Versus... Oh, they are doing the fake out death. I'll tell him the truth. That the prince chose to put his needs over those of his countrymen. Wait, what? It's, it's blasting jelly. Oh, man. The prince! Zuko. Oh. Jesus, Paul, why are you so good? To General Iroh. Oh, sure what an asshole. A terrible shot. That's more appropriate than scumbag, even. He's both. Yes. Oh, uh, we got the blue opening now. Oh. Oh, man, now I... I know we mentioned it before, but now I feel like I need to go back to see exactly what every episode was. Well, they're all color-based. So the first two were beige, the second two were green. And then red. red and now and blue. blue. And oh. I think they change shades in, yeah, the, yeah. in the episode. Wasn't anything like I thought. I need to see like all of them together. Yes. Like Zuko alone. Yes. But at least I'll be able to do it with my friends by my side. That's right. Team Avatar. Team Avatar. They said it in the show. <laughs> That's also interesting because in the grand scheme of things, he is struggling more than in the original. Yes. Because he did not just immediately pick up water like he did. Yes. I don't even think we've seen him bend water yet out and, of the Avatar scene. And granted, I mean, he also hasn't really tried, so we don't know what his ability is, but it is, I think, kind of interesting seeing yeah. this change. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, okay, so far this looks great, and I think they're great at the sweeping visuals. See, like, this this green screen looks good. Mm-hmm. This is beautiful. It's perfect. Aww. Yeah. I, I don't know about I, that. To be fair, she has seen worse. Katara speaketh too soon. Oh. We've been expecting you. Oh man, they have a bison landing pad. <laughs> I can't tell you the joy it brings us to welcome a long lost brother and sister from the south. This is Master Paku. He is our senior waterbending uh. master. And this is my daughter, Princess Yue, our tribe's mm. spiritual leader as we welcome mighty allies, and we shall celebrate their arrival <laughs> with a feast. Feast. <laughs> have we met her before? Now quit it before they think something's wrong with Interesting. you. Interesting. Is that <laughs> like how is. a nod to multiverse theory? <laughs> Our enemies can't be allowed to get away with such a, a brazen crime. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard to act. What a little weasel. <laughs> He has to act like he's acting. It was Ozai. Oh, it's not pirates. It's Ozai. Ooh. He's become so obsessed with conquering the world, he cannot tolerate anyone who would get in the way of this. I see. Iroh is definitely the better actor, though. Yes. Because Iroh's just better in every way. <sighs> of course, of course. Of leading a great armada with orders <laughs> to conquer the North. I just love how pleased with himself he is. Oh, yes. In battle. Of course, that also means that I have no track record of failure. Mm. 
Unlike it's, you. Mm, oh, I'm, what a dick. Dude, you literally just let the avatar get away. You're not one to talk. True. The Fire Lord deems your performance below average. But I defeated him. You should have finished That's... him at least two moves earlier. Thus, you will undergo another trial tomorrow. Ooh, what a dick. He really is. But he knows what he's doing. He, he'll, he, he's a... Does he actually know what he's doing? Or does he think he knows what he's doing? Well, here's what he knows what he's doing. He is trying his best to move the goalposts to manipulate her. Let my father empty his prisons. Send every bender he has at me. I'll burn everyone in the world until he admits the truth. I'm the one. Whoa, she's Neo. Whoa. They're definitely trying to humanize Azula more, which is interesting. Yeah, make her mildly less sociopath. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just go and talk to her? Oh, she's wearing the she purple would. that she I wears in the show. Funka, Southern Water Tribe. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Yeah, that's exactly what you would say. Maybe not in that tone. She's a princess and a spiritual leader. She probably sleeps on a throne and only eats dewdrops and sunshine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stewed sea prince, my favorite. What's it taste like? Like home. Aw. I mean, how about just let him taste it and then he'll yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. That was sweet, though. Yeah. It must have been difficult to grow up cut off from other benders. The Fire Nation's attacks took so much from you, from all of us. Mm. The worst part was, like, I couldn't do anything about it. What's important is you survive. Just, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I know, One me too. One element of change. And we waterbenders have always adapted. Also, she is already wearing the choker. Yes, so he could see it. Go and find Yagoda. She is one of our finest instructors and she can start you on your journey. Oh! Is the, this is why? So he, that's almost more insidious, but I think that's actually kind of clever. It's its more like, it makes Paku more interesting than just, you're a girl, get out of here. It's like, I think yeah. he, maybe he sees the choker yeah. and he's punishing her because he knows. Yes. Cloud berries? What Whoa. in the world? I don't know what that is, but it looks delicious. It looks like is oatmeal. This, are they making dessert or what? Are they making oatmeal? Whoa. Okay, that's kind of- She's got magic. Yogurt powers? Okay. That's sick. I mean, I'll say this. If I... I guess it's ice cream. If I was a water bender, I would definitely prefer to use it for making food. This is oh, sick. It's pretty good. Is this the sickest thing a water bender has ever done? Yes. I mean, they could like turn ice cream, right? Yeah. That's awesome. That would be amazing. I'm, I'm, oh, I, I want to be a water bender now. Screw it. It's delicious. Takes one bite and puts it down. <laughs> now no one else can eat it. Very fun. Mm. <laughs> so I'd hide out here with the grands and make dessert. Aww. You are just a girl. <laughs> what? Did you think I wasn't a girl? No, no, no. I, I just no, figured, I figured with the moon. a princess and all. That I was stuck up? Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's so what I thought. But no, it you're should ordinary. Be. Not ordinary. Because that wouldn't be good. I love it. And I, th I think I should stop saying words now. <laughs> this could have been so clunky and dumb, but he sells it so well. He's really good. <laughs> That's what they expect me to be. Don't get me wrong. I love serving my. And I love her own self awareness of it. Go somewhere and. They definitely like are humanizing. Her too. Yeah. A hundred percent. No, I made a promise to my dad. But there are times it would have been nice to not have to worry. Times I wish I could be. Just a boy? Mm. <laughs> yeah. How do I know okay. you? Okay, Sokka. <laughs> Princess Yue, you're ready for the evening blessing. Okay, so I, I didn't think, I don't think they're gonna do the arranged marriage. Thank you, Han. I hope not. You didn't have to leave the feast. One of the priests could have come. There was no trouble at all. This is supposed to be her arranged husband, is it not? I would think, but I mean, he might also still be a rival suitor, but yeah. we'll see. Also, I'm gonna be honest, people, I've seen people make fun of that wig. I think it's fine. I mean, I can see why, but it's like, it's, I also admit it's hard to pull. Oh, see the pendant, the pendant. I told you it was something. I mean, hey, good Like the catch. little, I guess it's not a pendant. What would you call that? It's a, uh, like. Oh, they're making a the. Bang a bangle. A bangle, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. They're making the icebergs. Mm. If something none of us have, experience, Fire Nation armor. Is it metal? I mean, ah, at see. least he's being smarter this time. Would you mind coming to talk to them? Um, sure. Oh, wow. So this is interesting. They actually value his opinion. 
Yeah, which to be fair, um, they, they did, just not him specifically. Truth is, I haven't mastered any other bending, but that's why I came here, hoping someone could teach me. But we've heard stories of how you've saved communities, defeated the Fire Nation platoons. How were you able to do all that? Air My power, friends helped bro. me. We yeah. worked together. It would have been wise to have focused on your training during your journey. Hey, ha he's still a dick. Yeah. Also, how? If you didn't have a master, what else was he gonna do? So this, this guy, like... It seems we won't be able to count on the Avatar. Oh my god. What is okay, wrong? Okay, there's the other shoe. What is Just wrong dropped. with the adults in this show? Everyone's so mean to this kid. I feel so bad. Water oh, allows no. life to flourish and to heal. The costume designs on the Northern Water Tribe are really lovely. That was also a good effect. Yes. It's about empathy. You must understand what it means to feel pain, then take that pain away. Wow, this, this is actually really lovely. We never got to experience this in I'll, the animated version. Mm -hmm. I've gotten good at picking things up quickly. <laughs> we had to think on our feet a lot. Nothing to focus your mind, like fireball coming at your head. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, when do we get to fight training? I'm sorry, but women don't fight. Oh! There it is. I think my skills lie more in combat. I'd like to train in fighting techniques. In the Northern Water Tribe, women aren't allowed to fight. Oh, There's the sexism. <laughs> That's not right. But that is our way. Ugh. She's like, oh no, he did it. <laughs> All right, so he's still a sexist piece of garbage. Yes, because I, I hate to say it, but even more than Socket, it would have been weird if you completely eliminated it from Pop. Yeah. None of them have seen real battle. Hey, I'm sure they'll do great. Especially with you leading them. It's Aww. weird that they have a bromance. It's throwing me off. Yeah, but that's Princess another Lai. shoe that could drop. True. She seems great. Anyway, <laughs> she's dedicated, kind. She represents the highest ideals of our tribe. She is the best of us. You should date her. You like it. <laughs> the princess and I, we were betrothed. Oh my god, oh, they are doing the great! We were children, but when she turned 16, she... Oh! oh interesting! That, that's amazing. But she never gave a reason why. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> you would have married her? Aww, oh, he's gonna... Is this gonna be bros before hoes he's now? He's like, so are you saying she's single? <laughs> Or he might be thinking like, hey, I have the bro this bromance now, I'm not gonna betray that. So he didn't do his job as the Avatar, he let everyone down. That's crazy. I believe there must be more to his story. I hope you're right, because I need help. And he's the only one who could possibly understand my situation. He really does need help. Yes. Like everyone treats this kid like shit. I know. Except his two friends. And Roku. And Roku, and Boomy now. <laughs> I mean, Boomy was pretty bad. Yeah, but now, Boomy. I said Boomy now. See, this is interesting. We never got uh, Karuk in the- In book one in now. In book one. No, not at all. I see you've made it to the north. Yes, because the Northern Water Tribe's in danger. Aptar Kiyoshi showed me a vision of Agnikella being destroyed by the Fire Nation. If she showed you the north being destroyed, then it will happen. But the battle's outcome is still uncertain. Whether the Fire Nation prevails, whether the waterbenders survive, all of that is up to you. That seems... That's a lot of pressure. Yes, it is. Kiyoshi did it. I'm not Kiyoshi. But you still could! No, I oh, shit! The war I'd waged on the spirits damaged my body and corrupted my soul and my condition. Damn. I wouldn't be able to control the Avatar state any more than you could. And despite all my sacrifices, I still couldn't save the one that mattered the most. Ooh. A predatory spirit came to seek vengeance on me. Ugh. Umi, my beloved, paid the ultimate price. Oh. The spirit stole her face. Damn. The Avatar must walk alone, or else the ones you love will suffer. Oh, sorry, I was looking for Katara. <laughs> I should get going. Is something wrong? N no, I'm just- This is a weird place to flirt. I know, I was like, what is his purpose for this? This is like flirting in church. Recombobulate. 
Oh, so I she was it. in the spirit world. It was you, world. yes. You're the fox! Yes. Part spirit, mostly human. Being of both worlds has meant that I can be a bridge between the two. That's why I became a priestess, is to help people connect with their spirituality. It also means I have the ability to visit the spirit world in my dreams. So you pop over there just <laughs> He for says it like so cavalierly. It's yes. Magical. Not quite the word out. She's having a lot of fun with the role. <laughs> Do you know what I remember about you from the spirit world? You were worried about your friends. You knew they were in trouble and you had to help them. Your heart. That's what sets you apart. That's what makes you a warrior. Aww. That's really that's really sweet. I have a feeling if your father's That's nice now, because it's not be. like devaluing his abilities in that regard. I love the way Ian looks at her. Yes. I need to know something. Why did you turn down Han? Han <laughs> is so weird. <laughs> he is everything that a girl could want. We, this is weird. Yeah. But he is Again, not she's so cavalierly just saying all of it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is so weird because Egg is literally meditating right there. I know. My friends mean she might. Everything. She might just be the most I chill can't do character this without in them. this whole show. She's super chill. There is no team Avatar. There is only the Avatar. What about Avatar <laughs> The Way of Water? Think about this. Being the Avatar means being the one who bears the burden alone. He's like, guys. Uh, actually, it's a friend. <laughs> he has a friend. Oh. Like, were you guys doing this while I was in this beer world? Where will I be stationed during the battle? Uh, well, in, in the kitchen. In combat. I thought you knew. No, I didn't. I wouldn't have accepted it if I did. You're not strong enough. Women aren't strong enough. Oh. You haven't been training and preparing to lay down your life for everyone here. And I'm not going to let what happened to the Southern tribe happen here. Okay. He's an even bigger dick. He, oh, I was gonna say the opposite. Cause here's the thing. He's still a dick, but he's not laying it on nearly as thick. They won't and let me fight. He at least is- They've been stuck behind this wall for so long. thinking- they become Hopefully for the best interest of the Northern Water tribe. Or maybe- Maybe we should listen to them. Mm, what? Maybe it's better if you didn't fight. Oh. Oh no, you didn't, Aang. People are gonna get hurt and die. I can't lose you in Sokka. Aang, you're not gonna lose us. But just the thought I could is gonna hold me back. These people need the Avatar. And I can't be the Avatar with you around. Oh, oh shit. Damn! Now, could, now everyone's shitting on Katara. I <laughs> Aang's like, listen, I was getting bullied all season. I gotta bully somebody. Oh no, it's an even bigger letter opener. The bigger, the better. Wonder what they'll call me when the news reaches Capital City. Idiot. Oh my god. Dead? I hope so. Well, uh, dark. I mean, that, he, uh, okay, fair. What makes you think you can succeed when so many others have failed? Because I have something none of the others had. Destiny on my side. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> I have personally made arrangements to ensure our victory. What is that? This. This is destiny. Looks like a box. I was gonna say. He's attacking the fortress head on, like a bull in heat. <laughs> oh, Whoa! nice! Fear I've underestimated Chow. He's more dangerous than I thought. Yeah, I figured that out as I was swimming away from the burning wreck of my boat. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to go in and capture the Avatar once and for all. Huh. The plan is to reclaim what's rightfully mine. So no plan. <laughs> this is gonna sound horrible. Do you know what this made me think of? <laughs> Phaedra and Kate. Yes, yeah, from the traitors. <laughs> it's almost as if he's working with someone else. Someone much smarter. <laughs> oh, come on. Did we really need that though? It was, I don't mind it. It just felt very heavy handed the way it came off. Azula, stop playing games. I'm not the one playing games. This is your last chance, fight or fail. No. What? You dare. So is she gonna turn on him now? <sighs> Is she just gonna become the new big bad? <laughs> Are they just getting rid of Ozai? <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa. Lightning. All right, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But he could have taken her down at any time that she was doing that. Set me loose. Let me go into the world and show you what I can really do. I'm through playing games here. He's like, I like that. I don't know why. I was like legit What's looking forward to her like just... It would have been really cool if he'd redirected the lightning. I get to decide. Yeah. Mm. Just like you get to decide who you are, not Paku or anyone else. I'm going to challenge Paku to fight. Ooh. I know. He's a master. I know he's probably going to mop the floor with me, but it doesn't matter. All my life I've held myself back. And I'm not just going to let someone else do it to me now. Katara. So I'm going to say, you go, girl. Yeah. Let's get it. Remember back at the Southern Air Temple when you said we oh had to go God. with Aang? That we had to help him save the world? You were right. If we hadn't gone with him, I wouldn't have seen how two kids from the Southern Water Tribe can measure up to anyone. Firebenders, Aww. earthbenders, spirit creatures, even strapping young Northern Water Tribe warriors. Sokka, <laughs> if you're trying to talk sense into me. I wouldn't have kissed two girls. <laughs> Apparently more than that even. Maybe, you're right. No, what I'm trying to tell you is go kick his ass. Yeah! yeah. Sokka! Sokka's the spiritual leader now. I should What's be- going on? Sokka's hype man not and Zuko's hype man. Because you're afraid of what you might learn. Go back to the healing huts with the other women. <laughs> he literally just said, get back to the kitchen. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> oh, it's on now. Fine. You want to learn how to fight? Study closely. That was cool. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's hard for him though. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, her hair. Had enough. Is that all you got? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh! oh ice slide! Ooh! She did the pose! She's. Uh, she's. Oh! There you go! Destructo disc! I would be terrified because that could, like, really. Yes. Bigger ice slide! Listen, I love a nice slide. <laughs> oh. oh. It's very impressive how they both stayed dry. I'll yes. say this, you're an excellent waterbender. But you still <laughs> won't let me fight. No. That was incredible. Those ice discs. How did you do that? Can you show me? Well, I doubt anyone's gonna say you're not strong enough now. I just say I lost. Did you? <laughs> I mean, that's a good message, though. Yeah. That Sometimes it's not about winning the fight. Sometimes it's just about the fight. Mm -hmm. But it's my decision to fight. It's not your not choice. And not yours. And do you think we came all the way here just to leave you on your own, silly avatar? <laughs> Man, Sokka is great this episode. I know. The Avatar must bear the burden alone. This is the past. Now only one person can tell you the future. The person who will write the legend of Aang. Whoa, Whoa. Martino and Kanetsuko. She means you. You got that, right? <laughs> Whoa, Momo. Momo's back. Where does he I, go? I was going to say, did they spend so much oh, to make him ash. look? Oh no. Sorry. I was just gonna say, like, man, I wish Fire we could see more of him, but that's probably too expensive. I know, the adventures of Momo. I wanna write I wanna read that book. Mm hmm Time to play. Let's go! It's like let's grab. Oh my gosh, that felt like it flew by. That flew by. It was wow, 42 minutes. That was that But it was so freaking good. That was great. That, that was it. That's another huge contender for best of the season. I mean, they're really stepping up. 
their, their game late in the season. Mm-hmm. I think after I think the, the, those middle two episodes were a little rusty, three and four. But after that, I've really loved everything that came after it. Oh my gosh, especially last episode, and especially this episode, which I didn't know what to expect. I, I think it's really interesting the way that they're introducing all of the avatars. Mm-hmm. It's not just Roku. Mm-hmm. I think it'll make it more... Again, I think it's good planning for the future so that when we do get to book three and they do have that big powwow yeah. and things like, <laughs> hey, I don't want to kill this guy. And they're all like, bro, you better kill that guy. And it's and it's about him learning the, the avatar that he is mm-hmm. as opposed to what all of these people are telling him to be. Right. And we're kind of getting hints of that, shades of that a little earlier in the season at the end of book one, mm-hmm. which I really like. And I like... The introduction of the different avatars representing the different elements right. of of uh, of bending. That's really cool too. And I also am thinking that part of why they did that with Kirk is because this, unlike all the other episodes, it really did not combine anything. This no. was pretty straight up just the ending of book one. Yeah. And it really played almost everything else. Not that, by all means, there were changes, but it played the story beats pretty similarly without at adding anything, like, super new. Yeah, there were some, there were some interesting, significant changes. Like, I knew, I, I knew they weren't going to have the, tra- the child uh, arranged marriage. Oh, I didn't, I honestly was not thinking one way or the other. I, fe- I felt like that's too icky still <laughs> to have in the series, mm-hmm. um, to have these, because again, how old is UA supposed to be? 17? I think she has to be 16 or 17 because Sokka is 16 Well, in the she show. said she was betrothed when she was 16. Yeah, so she could be... Probably like 17, 18-ish. I mean, they also said when she turned 16, so... Yeah, We don't really true. know. We, we don't all, know. All we know is it was in the past. Yeah, so that that's interesting. I don't know. Like, I love the portrayal of Yue in it's, this series. It's... Is she possibly out of kind of the major characters that were adapted... The one with the biggest personality change? Um, I think it's a welcome change. Possibly, but I, I, I will say it's welcome. I, I like it a lot. Yue in the animated series is a great character, but she's very much played like... A, I don't want to say damsel in the stress, but she's very much played like, I'm the I'm the future queen. I am kind of like... I don't, I don't know. She's very like stoic. Very stoic. Like stoic, responsible, kind of a lot of those tropes of, hey, you're... This teenager who has a lot of responsibility and you, there's a lot expected of you. She feel until we find out the stuff about the moon spirit, she feels more like an unattainable romance for Sokka than she does a character. Right. Whereas I think here she feels like a human being. And, and I really like that. I do too. And I like it because I think it actually contrasts with Suki very well. Yes. Because she is a little more, she's more serious. She's more specifically dedicated to her task and her role in her village. And here Yue is, but like she approaches it differently. Because you could argue both of them are very sheltered, but, yeah. but they're approaching it very differently. And they and they're both meet Sokka at very different points in his journey. I mean... Suki, <laughs> and, it's, and it's, I wonder if that was intentional. Suki mm-hmm. meets him right off of the Southern Water Tribe. He's mm-hmm. still focused on being a warrior and emphasizes masculinity and his ability of a warrior Yeah, uh, way more than anything else. And then Yue meets him when he's very conflicted as a person, as a man, as a warrior. Yes. And what I was trying to say earlier that I liked is the fact that he actually acknowledges that he can still be a warrior. Yeah, he acknowledges like, hey, even if I suck as a warrior... I get to choose what I am in life. Right. Or, and that there's more than one type of warrior. Yeah. And I like that Sokka kind of brings that message home because that's, I really like that that's where we we're ending up at the end of season one. Like you choose what you do mm-hmm. and how we got there is really interesting. I think, I think the past three, the past two, this episode three have really did a great job of clearing up the themes and messages of the season where I think they got really muddy in the beginning. Yeah. This is doing a really good job of bringing back the choices Mm -hmm. themes from episode three and four Mm -hmm. and really emphasizing that and applying it to these real life situations that I think works extremely well for a character like Aang, who in this version doesn't really have as much guidance Mm -hmm. as he did in the original series. No, absolutely. And that's something that's going to be interesting is... Obviously, they have no time for Paku to train him now. Yeah. So, I do... 
And we obviously know that eventually it's going to have to be Katara. Yeah, which Katara is, will eventually train him. But it is very interesting how they're going about that. And obviously it's partly because of a time crunch, but that is definitely a substantial change. Yeah, do you know what I'm thinking? I'm just thinking off the top of my head, mm-hmm. and it kind of makes sense. They'll probably do... They'll they'll make us they'll make a pretty big change from the the source and they'll probably do a time jump in between seasons book 1 and 2 oh they have to, to. explain the how all of these actors are now a lot older and look different mm-hmm. but also to kind of jump start Aang's water bending training right that yeah. that makes a lot of sense to me mm-hmm. since we don't see him start that here it'll probably be like Katara will be like oh Aang let's get started on your training I'm your master <laughs> now and then in season 2 he's just like ice discing everybody he's like ice 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 and that actually isn't even that far off from the original because no. they clearly spend a lot of time in the northern water tribe but it's just in between the last few episodes that they do the time yeah. skip because at that point Katara has been training with Paku Aang had been training and yeah. they both like real well K- Katara more so but they both had substantially gotten better as a result of the training absolutely and no I think that makes complete sense and we definitely don't need to see every nook and cranny of his training for that no uh, I'm going to be honest. I think Paku's wig was worse than Yue's. <laughs> <laughs> I, that headpiece on the actor looked really fake. And I think Yue's hair, I don't know. I like, I can, I can, if people say it looks bad, I guess I have to believe them. For me, I don't nearly mind it as much as you, some of the other things. Do you know what I was thinking? What? Is because I, I had read about that too. So I was thinking it when I first saw her on screen and I was wondering about that. But, and this is a credit to the actress, the second she actually started talking and acting, I stopped worrying about it. Because I think just, like, being uber-focused on it, like, independently, it's kind of weird. But I think, especially now that you know its relevance to her character, it's like, okay, that at least, like, kind of helps a little bit. I found myself looking more into her eyes than I ever did at her wig. Mm -hmm. And that's a credit to, like you said, the actress who I believe, I don't want to butcher her name, it's Amber Mid-Thunder, from who was in Prey, the the Predator prequel movie, mm-hmm. and she was fantastic in that. So I do think she's a very talented young actress, and I do think she was great here. And she does have this natural charisma that she mm-hmm. brings to Yue. This that it really bubbles o- over the surface, mm-hmm. above the surface of the character. And I do think she has some really great chemistry with Ian Osley, Yo, uh, Sokka, because yeah. just the way he looks at her in this episode, like she's the most beautiful girl he's ever seen i know and it's just this loving affectionate stare that he has and the way that she looks at him like he's the most interesting person in the room there's just really a spark there that i appreciated seeing in this young romance that's destined for tragedy i was gonna say it's like we're saying all these great things and that just makes me more (laughs) upset i know but i think it's rough buddy but again i actually think that's very beneficial because when you look at the scope of the entire book one originally is the fact that they stretch the end of it out to the two episodes is a huge benefit to her character and that aspect of the story. Yeah, because I think she's an important enough character that we I want to spend time with her. I want to spend time with her so that when she does sacrifice herself, it means something, right? Yes. And we see her as a fox in the spirit world. She has that interaction with Sokka. Now we get this whole episode where she was in the majority of the episode, or a good portion of it anyway. Oh, a huge amount for a supporting character, absolutely. Yeah, so that if if they do follow the animation and she does sacrifice herself, it's going to mean something. It's going to hurt a lot more. And for people who haven't seen this show, mm-hmm. uh, that I'm sorry you have to experience this for the first time because, like, uh, to quote Zuko, that's rough, buddy. Very rough. <laughs> but, no, I think this was fantastic. Um... Uh, and we didn't even get to Paku yet and that whole thing. But <sighs> yeah. I, I thought it was super interesting what they did. And I think aspects of it, I kind of think the changes were pretty strong. Yeah, and I think taking away Paku's creepy affection for Gram Gram uh, being the impetus of saying like, oh, you know what, Katara, you can fight. Yes. I think that's a welcome change. And I think it's honestly super realistic that, because that actually is something that annoyed me a teeny bit in the original. because. Yeah. Am I glad he turned a new leaf? Yes. Is that realistic? Absolutely freaking not. Yeah. Um, And the perfection that is Avatar book one, that's something that bothered me as well. Because it has nothing to do with her skill or him impressing her for her gender. mm -hmm. It's just, oh, I'm really attracted to your grandma. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm going to let you fight now because you know what? She's pretty cool. 
And I do like that it initially started off more subtle because I think that made him less like yes. mustache twirling, evil, sexist. And I think, again, like it's not excusable, but it's at least the way they approach it, it's like, hey, this is someone who very well could exist and who was kind of brought up with this mindset. Because it was even, um, I forgot the woman's name. It, she displayed it just as much. Yeah, it was. it's, it's really interesting. And to, to, to remove sexism from the water tribes entirely feels like a disservice to stor the storytelling mm -hmm. to me because it really shows like how, while the Southern water tribe doesn't have the nearly the advancements of the northern water tribe. Mm -hmm. They are for, far more advanced in the progressive nature of their tribe than the, the northern water tribe is because women were in Sokka's warrior encampment in the south, whereas the, the north has all of these very old, outdated mindsets. And I think part of that now, I think, is because the southern tribe... Like, they kind of didn't have a choice, yeah. which it's, it's under terrible circumstances. Or, or you know, they, they migrated away because they didn't want to be a part of that right. sexist culture. And by the t and what, before they had a chance to fully establish, war, all hell broke loose. Yeah. And a war broke out, and they, they couldn't, they didn't have the means. Because war definitely prevents the advancement of civilization. Oh, yeah. Especially unadvanced civilization that didn't have a chance to prosper. Yes. And assuming she's anything like her counterpart... That is absolutely how Grand Grand would have Yeah, felt. Grand Grand's like, bro, I'm not putting up with your shit. Like, yeah. I'm out of here. Deuces. Deuces. But no, I think overall that was actually a really strong portrayal. Yeah, really good stuff. Uh, I'm excited for the finale. Really excited to see how it ends. Oh, I know. Honestly, like, I'm hats off to this episode, and hopefully the last one will be as well. Yes. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the notification about this update on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other Avatar reactions, click the link on the page. And until next time, guys, stay versed.